All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for stopping by. Today I have something kind of unique, especially for me. This is an old railroad drawbridge. It is built in the Chicago style with a giant counterweight on the back. As we fly this today, I want to apologize to begin with. The wind was atrocious as we went across that river. And as you can see in that pass, we could not keep the drone level. It would tilt at about a 45 degree angle as the wind hit it. Put a dart under here. Let you see the bottom of it. Go up and around. Look at this little house here on the top. I assume that's where the control area was. Over the top and we'll thread the needle here. This is the Avada 2. There's the giant counterweight. That thing is massive. Go back around, you can see how large this bridge was. Just fantastic. I love these old bridges and old houses that we happen up on and we're able to drone with. Let's go through, turn around. Now let's explore some of these buildings. Kind of get an idea that you know it's almost like someone lived here and i'm sure they did for eight to twelve hours a day maybe more this thing is absolutely massive now i have found out that that counterweight is hollow and probably full of scrap iron or sand or just whatever the engineers could find those little doors there allow them to inspect the inside of it Sure that it's not crumbling from the inside. Those pipes there, top and bottom, allow it to breathe. Any moisture can get out to keep it from cracking. Because in the wintertime, anything in there freezes, it would not be good. But you can see it was built in layers. Just fantastic engineering. I love this thing. Building, go up and around. Again, you can just see to the right there the wind blowing. You get away from this bridge and out there over that water, it is full. I'm going to go just past this building here. And you'll really get a look at that counterweight. is in all of its glory that thing is just massive some of the components that lifted the bridge man, I just can't imagine moving that much steel I mean it's a railroad track it's an entire bridge and they move it with us the small hinges and small motors it's just absolutely amazing just a feat of technology look at that that's not very big at all get a view from the top there it was so hard to get a good shot on this bridge I tried numerous numerous times and it's very difficult to look at a bridge when it's at a 45 degree angle so we could not get the whole thing in the shot we wanted for just a moment from a long range you'll see that I got it but I had to travel a quarter of a mile away to find a spot that I could look at it the closer I got, the worse it got. Here's a shot from the top. It is a magnificent piece of history here. We'll fly around. Let's see, bank hard to the left. I went all the way to that bridge out there. Now this is the best shot I could get of it, and you see how far away I am. And the closer I got to it, the worse it got. So, I end up moving here to the right. Any 
time now. Here we go. I drift to the right because as I pass over these trees, it gets better, but then I lose the view of the bridge. So it's kind of a catch-22 thing. And so at this point, I was about ready to give up. And we've been here for about an hour or two. And so I'm gonna drop down into these trees, sport mode, and fly through here wide open. It is just a fantastic shot, like a train going down this bridge. More to come. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. We'll see you next time.